Melissa, the M from the m and of Bespoke Hairstyles. Um, it's quite late now, it's quite dark. It's been a busy day, but I thought I had to, had to, had to show you this style um, and see whether we could re recreate it together. This is what it looks like. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, I kind of pulled the front back and had a little, gave it a little fringe like lift to the back. And then I basically pulled it together and braided it up. And then I put my little accessories in. And as usual, I wanted to show you the style and then we'll take it down and then we'll try and recreate it again. And again, I'm hoping it would look sort of like this. And again, I tell you that it might not look exactly the same because it's being done live. Um, so bear with me. Um, the idea is quick styling. You need a brush. I'm going to use a brush, some pins, um, an accessory if you want. You could use a flower. You could use anything. Um, I'm using my uh, chopsticks and maybe you might need a little band um, depending on whether your hair is going to braid to the end and not unravel. So we take it down to show you the simplicity of the style um, and um, yeah there we, there we are I've taken it the back bit down and then um, I'm now unraveling the second part the front part of the style um, as I always say when we are creating this style, please um, don't pull. Um, I know you might want to focus on trying to get it right, but um, the most important thing is you're not hurting your follicles. This is very important. Right, so this is the hair down. And um, bear with me, I just need to clear that screen. Right, this is the hair down. So we take the side, the right side, and kind of sweep it to the back. And then I'll take, I take the left side. And do you, can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to encourage it to have a bit of a lift, like that. Um, can you see the profile? And then I basically bring them together to try and keep it in place. I'll show you. See, I've just brought them together. And then I've, I'll take a little uh, bit of the side of my hair um, and I'll braid it. Now, this hair will work for somebody with Afro hair, uh, somebody with Afro hair who has loose curly hair, or if you have Afro hair and your hair is quite tightly curly, uh, curled, um, oh, I'd love to meet you because at Bespoke Hairstyles, uh, we celebrate the tightness of your curls and, and flat twisting is fantastic. And we specialize in flat twisting. But anyway, um, what you would do is wash your hair and then um, braid it, loosely braid it and just leave it to air dry. And then um, it comes out quite straight after that. And then we can flat twist, do any design. So you could try doing this hairstyle once you've allowed it to um, dry naturally in the air. We don't blow dry, we don't use heat. We don't feel it is necessary when we're styling our client's hair. And you can have a look at our videos just to see the kind of work we do. And on Facebook, you can have a look as well to see what we do. Right, what I've done is I've um, braided, taken like the sides and literally, as I was talking to you, I was kind of braiding the sides together like that, just a couple of them um, to keep this bit in place, basically, um, and to leave this part down. So now that I've braided it to the end of where I think it should be secure, I'm now braiding it in to the tip. This is where if your hair is going to unravel you might need a hairband and then just I'll just put it to the side for now and then you check that that's what you want because that's the front now 
you could go out like this a flower in your hair that's a style that's a style but i want to bring it up so um i'm going to kind of braid it in pulling from the sides as i've done the front pull them in and again the idea is pulling the hair in the direction that you want it so if you want it quite center then focus on bringing it to the center and if you want it a bit slanted like i want it a bit slanted so i'm taking less from my right side and more from my left side and i'm pushing up the braid while i'm pushing up the braid i'm thinking about my follicles and i'm making sure I'm not pulling on them and it's not hurting. And then feel with your hands to see whether you, everything is in place. And also if I've got any loose bits that you can see, don't worry about it. I will tuck it in at the end of this guideline um, video, because as I said, this is just a guideline um, for you to understand how the style works. Now I've come to the top of the braid and I'm literally just braiding it up the few that I can hold, I'm braiding up. And that's it. And then I would just leave it like that. So you could use a pin or I'll just leave it like that. And then that is it. it and then I'll pull, 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 pull. And then I'll pull to the side because I want it quite spiky and messy. And then um, I would just use my chopsticks to keep it in place one chopstick and another chopstick feel that it's not and um, that is it feel 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 that's it and then I would use my brush to kind of neaten it neaten it and that's it style number four I'm so happy right okay there we go. That's it. I hope you like it. Again, share, please. Let me know whether it worked for you and whether you have sister locks or the traditional medium sized locks or whether you just have loose Afro hair. Um, or if you've tried it with extensions, just let me know whether my guide is helping you enjoy your hair better. Thank you so much for watching this video. As I say, again, more styles to come. And enjoy the postings that I've sent out so far. I hope you have done. And thank you all for your comments and your positive feedback. It's brilliant. So I know I'm on the right track. Um, please stay connected and share. Please share. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye.